I know what you're thinking. Why is that sexy little LMT piston gun not an SBR yet? Well, I filed for it and the ATF apparently seems to be kind of slow lately. I don't know what that's about. Typically, I clear in just a few days. However, this one is still pending. Let's run it without a can, then with. setting when you put it in that suppressor setting it wants a full back pressure suppressor so in using a low back pressure suppressor i will leave it in the unsuppressed setting one of my favorite suppressors the centurion maximus l556 this is the titanium one i love this can yeah i like this thing gosh just like the bnt it just floats in the hand under recoil, even with the suppressor, because of its piston bleed off. Pistons are supposed to bleed off. I've had so many piston guns that don't actually bleed off the way they're supposed to. As soon as that expands, it should push those gases out the side, and a lot of them just don't do that. And this LMT really nails it. Let's try it with a full back pressure can. All right, this is the Northern Research, guys. They made the Whisper Pickle. This is a full-size 30 caliber suppressor, and it is very much so a full back pressure can. You can probably see the gases that are coming out by my face. I can even taste them. That's less than ideal. Now we are in the suppress setting. Let's see how she floats. A little bit of gas in the face, even in the suppressor setting. And that's just because you're bleeding off up here, but you're still kicking gases back through that system. I left eyes tearing up a little bit. End state is, while it does have a suppressor setting, a full back pressure suppressor is not ideal for this gun. A low back pressure suppressor and leave it in the unsuppressed setting because when you put it in the suppressed setting, it won't cycle even on a low back pressure can. 